Yes guys, welcome back to another video I'm doing here on the channel. Today we're back with Racing to Glory with Ascot United FC. Since the last video, we've had a couple of games, both in the league. We got a draw against Naphill, uh, which we probably should have won considering they were playing with 10 men for 76 minutes of the game. Um, but then we picked up the victory against Guildford. A good win and it was Christian Awusu who got the goal. Chris Kelly got injured in that one. Um, and and he's now out for four to five weeks. So, you know, I'm not expecting him back until sort of maybe sort of here. So he's going to miss all of February. But, um, but yeah. But today we have a massive game against Frimley Green in the league. And, yeah, I mean, I'll be back in just a second with our first game against Frimley Green. Yes, I said we were back for the first game of the video this time. Um, I thought I was ready for the first game when I started the video, but it turns out I wasn't. So I had to do the week after the last game to get to this game. Um, but yeah, first game of the video against Frimley Green in the league. The team put out there today to hope to get the victories funnel and goal. We have Vaughan, Annabelle, Cullinane, Libert and Dearman at the back. We have Bolton, Tamplin and Lamb in central midfield. Royal Lassen on the right. Sturdy down the left, replacing the injured Chris Kelly. And Christian Owusu up front. And, uh, and yeah, we're obviously looking forward to this game and hoping we can pick up the victory. It's going to be a tough one against Frimley Green, obviously, uh, because obviously, yeah, they're a good side. And, you know, looking at the league table, we need to start picking up some points. And I, I think, you know, definitely first place is out of the question, but they want the board wants to finish second. And we've dropped away from sort of being close to second. So we need to start picking up results. And a rainy day in Frimley Greens is exactly how we're going to start. And we've scored early on. In the 8th minute, Archie Sturdy with the goal, and there we go. Annabelle played it forward to Walla Lassen, who was out on the right-hand side, and ran past his man with ease. Uh, crossed it in, and Sturdy at the back post had a freeze-like volley inside the 6-yard area, and puts it in the back of the net. And yeah, very, very important goal. It puts us within a point of Sutton Common, at, as things stand. I don't know what they're doing in their game at the moment, but obviously they've got games in hand. Egham and that have got games in hand, so we need to carry on with the three points and keep up the pressure. As I'm rambling on about that, we've only gone to score the second. Walla Lassen with a free kick whips it in from a central position and Annabelle puts it away easily. Um, and yeah, Egham, we're, we're a point behind Egham who are third, but they've got game in hand, so they go three points clear. We have a better goal difference and I think we do still have to play them. Uh, so yeah, that could be a very important game. Awusu's won the ball back high at the pitch and puts it in the back of the net for his 16th goal of the season. Uh, hasn't sort of played every game all the time Christian Owusu this season but to still have 16 goals is very very good he won the ball back high at the pitch and and had the shot and perhaps their keeper should have saved it but Owusu with, with his weaker foot scores the near post Sutton Common are now winning in their game which means that they go three points clear of us now uh, a late goal in the first half for them gives them a bit of space between sort of us and Egham, but obviously, like I said, Egham have that game in hand. So, yeah, I mean, I, I'm hoping that Egham could lose or only draw that game. That would be a real help. Um, Jersey Bulls looks like they're winning their game, not that it matters, really. Um, they're 18 points clear as it stands with not many games left of the season. Uh, they've pretty much won the league, or, well, they've beaten us to the league. Uh, but, but, yeah, I mean, I think it's... It's been a good a good start to the video. We're going to bring Tuman on for um, Tamplin, and then we're going to swap him and Bolton around. Just to freshen things up, he's looking a bit complacent. Um, Archie Tamplin and not having the best of games, an average game at best. So, yeah, we bring him off and bring Tuman on and put him in that defensive midfield role, move Bolton forward a little bit. I kind of want to bring Lamb off, but I can't because I haven't got any other central midfield players. So we're just going to play out the game as things stand, as the team stands. Uh, and a good first half, meaning we can sort of take this one sort of less intense, more slowly in the second half and just cruise to victory. But we have got a fourth right in added time. It was great play from Sturdy. He had the shot from a tight angle. The keeper saved it well. But he's only palmed it into the into like the, the way of 
of a Wusu who puts it in the net. He's in the middle. He's like in between the penalty spot and the six yard box, and he puts it in the back of the net. Christian Wusu. That's two goals today, and he's he's really bringing that um that goal scoring form back at the right time, scoring in the last game and two in this game. So yeah, very happy. As you can see, we have Cobham who are twenty first in the division. In the division, we've got them at our place at the racecourse ground. Uh, in a week's time so we've got some time to prepare for that one and uh, and yeah I'll be back in just a second with the second game of the video against Cobham in the league yes as I say we've got the second game of the video against Cobham here at the race course ground in the league the team put out there today to hope they've got a victory is fun on goal we have a back four of Vaughan, Annabelle, Cullin, Nane, LeBird and Dearman we have Bolton, Tamplin and Lamb in central midfield we have Ball Lassen on the right Sturdy on the left and Awusu up front and we're getting straight into this one. The very important news is Wild, who you guys may remember, Charlie Wild, who broke his lower leg pre-season, I think it was. Um, he is back, or I say he's back. He's recommended to play 45 minutes worth of action. 19-year-old, he broke his leg so early on in the season, and he hasn't been back since, but he's back now. Um... And we're hoping he can uh, he can hopefully maybe get some minutes under his belt here against Cobham. Sturdy on the ball, plays it to Wall Lassen. His cross is deflected. It's picked up and we're having a few shots. And there's the goal, Tommy Lamb with the fourth goal with his fourth goal of the season. The assist from Archie Tamplin. It was good play. We had the ball. Sturdy played it to Wall Lassen. His cross was deflected. Sturdy picked it up and passed it straight away to Tommy Lamb. To Wall Lassen, to Tamplin, who had the shot, it was blocked, and then Tommy Lamb with uh, uh, the shot from the deflection, and uh, that's that's one nil. A Wusu thought he'd scored there, but it was no, he hasn't basically. Uh, but uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm happy with the, the start we've made. Good good start to the game. Wall Lassen now on the ball, plays it across to Tommy Lamb, he whips it out even further to Archie Sturdy. Crossed in, and it's a header from Walla Lassen, and that's 2 0. It was a great cross from Archie Sturdy, to be fair. He's having a good performance so far today. And he crossed it in well, and Walla Lassen with the header back across goal, and that's 2 0. And we're obviously very, very happy with that. Look at, I mean, just look at, I mean, it's just gone, but when the league table comes back up, look at Jersey Ball's goal difference. That is absolutely ridiculous. And they have absolutely destroyed this league. We've had the attempt, but Tampton was clearly offside. I mean, the goal difference of 88, they have scored 108 goals and conceded 20 goals all season. That is ridiculous. Um, ridiculous stats for them. They've won 29 out of 33 games. They deserve to win the league, you know. But, uh, but yeah, we just need to do our best and, and, and hope that we can grab second spot. And You know, we won't go up. Uh, but uh, that's the board wants either first or second. If we can give them second, then they can't really ask no more of us. Sturdy plays into the box. It's cleared, but I need to Tommy Lamb who puts his attempt over the bar. But yeah, we're really dominating in today's game. Cobham near the bottom of the table. I think they actually might be bottom. Uh, but but yeah, I mean, I'm happy with how things are going so far. We're playing well. We're doing what we need to do. It's only 2 0, but I'd rather be 2 0 than 0 0, so I say only. So, But perhaps I'm being a bit too harsh. Awusu now plays it to Walla Lassen. Can we make it three before half time? He's fouled in the box, and the penalty kick is given. And here we go then. Walla Lassen with the penalty, won it, and he scored it. 3 0. That's his 13th goal of the season. He's. I mean, Awusu's only scored four more than him. It was a lovely penalty down to his right, the goalkeeper's left, uh, right in the corner of the goal. And, yeah, very, very happy with the penalty and, and very happy with the first half. We've done what we needed to do, as I said, and we're playing well. And, and yeah, I mean, it's all going well so far. No goal today yet for Christian Awusu. Hopefully he can grab one in the second half. Keep his goal scoring form or goal scoring run going. The last game, Sutton, Sutton Common, the team in second spot, only got a draw. They conceded a late goal, uh, which was obviously good for us. We seem to be the only team out of the sort of top teams playing today. 
and what we're going to do is we're going to bring Tommy Lamb off and here comes Charlie Wilde something the fans have been waiting to see for a long time he's coming on for the last 15, 14, 15 minutes of the game and it, you know, I would imagine the, the fans that are there would be very excited and we would receive a great reception from them you know, he broke his lower leg so early on in the season. I think it was like pre-season or literally just one or two games into the league. And, you know, it was very annoying because he was at the time, you know, got the potential to be one of the best players at the club. And he got injured and, you know, you know, there's nothing we can do about that. It's not like, you know, a muscle injury where we've been working him too hard or they haven't been working hard enough. It was literally just... A broken leg that literally we could do nothing about. Um, but yeah, I mean, no goal for a Wusu today, but he still played well. Looking at the league table, we're second at the moment, although we're looking at the teams with games in hand. Egham have got two games in hand on us. If they win both of them, they go four points clear. How has that been? I don't understand how that's been worked out because there's only three points. Yeah, I don't understand that. Cause the second ago, or before the last game, there was only three points with a game in... If they have the one their game in hand, then it's three. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean, team, team's got games in hand on us. We're hoping that obviously they can start dropping some points. We're just looking at the other results from around the division. Nothing sort of major that concerns us. And we're going to have a look at the fixtures... See who we're, who we're playing next. We're out of all the tournaments now. Red Hill in ninth, Egham in fourth. That'd be a big game. Rains Park. I mean, t to be honest, we could probably get another two videos in. We could do Red Hill and Egham, and then Sutton Common and Colliers Wood. But yeah, I don't know. I have to wait and see. But yeah, I mean, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time for another video. Cheers.